Hi guys, today I want to talk about icon fonts and how easy it is to use them through Grail Studio. Icon fonts are great, but they can be hard to set up properly and it's also cumbersome when you have to go to a website just to find the specific icon you need. Here I have a MAUI solution open and if we go to the font folder you will see two TTF files for Open Sans, regular files, but also the Grail icons line and Grail icons field TTF that corresponds to icon fonts. Just because they are icon fonts and because they are in this folder, they will also appear in the icons panel. Just like uh, that, I can select one and browse all the icons available in that icon family and along with the, the names. If I choose the other family, I see the line version of the same icons. That's great. I don't have to leave Visual Studio to know what my icons are. But what about adding a new family? If you want to add a new one, you can pick one of the ones that we, we published and we have prepared already, like Material and Font Awesome. But today, I want to show you something new that is that you can select any font that you have uh, downloaded locally. And just like that, with two clicks, I have my font available in the project. What it did was to, of course, copy the TTF file, include the declaration in the MAUI program, and also it created on the fly this helper class with all the names extracted from the TTF file along with the Unicode values for all the characters in the, that font. That way you can use IntelliSense to use icon from the font either from C Sharp or from SAML. So let me show you how to use fonts uh, in SAML using this panel also. So for that I'm going to run the application now and uh, let me go to the simulator here let's open the reach about page that has a few icons down below um, open that SAML and go to the Gray Studio panel so let's select the new font that we just created you see the font and just drag and drop a font here and just like that it will appear on the hot reload thanks to the hot reload and that's it. You can drag and drop icons. Uh, it's using the helper class that we that I just show you. And you can also, uh, if you want to change an existing icon, you can just uh, put the cursor on that one and uh, double click the icon and it will replace the existing icon with a new one because we identify that there's a, an icon in your current selection. That's all I want to show you today. Uh, I hope you find this useful. Uh, we believe it's uh, a great way to work with icon fonts. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.